Welcome back to Daybreak. Vinny Mediates here now with some national news. Let's send it over to him at the news desk. Thanks, James. This week, an off-duty undercover New York City police detective was arrested after allegedly damaging an SUV, then proceeding to assault the driver. The incident happened in the city's west side on September 29th. News of the actions came after a video caught the incident and was uploaded to YouTube. In the video, the officer was riding on the back of a motorcycle alongside other friends in a motorist's club. The SUV drove too close to the officer, and he turned and began beating the car. The rest of the motorists surrounded the SUV and forced it to come to a stop and continued to pull out the driver and beat her. There are no further details at this time. And now a sad but heartwarming story from Spanish Fork, Utah. Jerry and Edith Dunn died after being married for 63 years. Both were born in 1931 and since high school spent very little time apart. Jerry was a retired U.S. Postal Service man as well as a Korean and Vietnam War veteran. Jerry died in his sleep early last Thursday morning, and his wife took her final breaths just hours later. The cause of death is unknown. The couple's family said that Jerry knew he was going to pass in the near future, but wasn't scared. They say that when Jerry died, he led a path for his wife to follow him. And finally, a new study showing that bullying isn't just happening in elementary through high schools. Bullying is happening in the workplace. Research studies show that employees who are victims of workplace bullying are more likely to have anxiety, depression issues, and may lead them to quit their jobs. While the bullies seem to have their own qualities, including treating co-workers workers disrespectfully, rude gestures, and become close with their boss to work up the corporate food chain. According to one study, less than one-third of American employees say they are engaged at work. Since 2003, certain states have been pushing the Healthy Workplace Bill in order to enforce the cure of workplace bullying. And that's all for National News this week. Now, back to the couch. Thanks, Vinny. And now we're joined by Courtney Joden and Jess Shannon, who are producing and hosting a new show set to premiere right here on UView. Welcome to the UV family. So Thank tell us about your show. Thank you. We are very excited. We are calling it To The Point. It's going to be an entertainment show. So uh, it's going to be very fun. We're going to just have a lot of fun with it. Yeah, and it's, it's brand new to us. So we're <laughs> new to this. Um, we like hope everyone works with us because we're, I mean, we're nervous. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> I mean, like brand new to us. So. The premiere is going to be next Thursday on October 17th at 6 p.m. So if you want to help out, please come. It's going to start at 545, and we're going to going to have fun. That's all it's going to be. So about. what went into producing the show and coming up with the idea for it? Well, you know, um, last semester, and well, the past two years, I was involved with Ear Candy, and Jess was too. And that was our entertainment show that we've mm -hmm. had here for a while. Yes. And Alicia Lyons, she was yeah. the she, producer she of it. Right? Mm -hmm. yes. She just graduated. And she was going to go ahead and pro like keep producing that show on her own. So we decided to have our own show here at Point Park because we, we loved doing that. So we decided to come up with the name To The Point. And that's, we're going to do like music news, movie news. We're going to try and still interview bands like we did for Ear Candy. And we, we wanted to take like more of a variety approach because we felt like just a music show was a little too like bland not mm -hmm. yeah. the show was great but we wanted to get it more like mixed into it and um we have like more humorous kind of segments too on it so it'll be it'll be really fun think of like a david letterman take and then chelsea lately the soup the soup all mixed into one a franken show e well yes it's gonna be a franken show variety. <laughs> <laughs> so. but um, it's, go it's ahead, go ahead. i was gonna say so you said it's premiering October 17th, so what's like the plan for the first episode? What can everybody expect? Well, the plan is we're just basically going to wing it this first <laughs> time because <laughs> we all are just like, this is the first time that we're going to have this show. There's going to be flaws no matter what, Definitely and we're just going to have to deal with it. <laughs> mm -hmm. And we'll learn from those mistakes, and we'll keep going. And I'm sure the show will come up to par. <laughs> Car someday, hopefully. But I'm mark my word, it's gonna be a good show. This first show, you I have a good feeling. By. You should stop by. Well, yeah. You guys have a great outlook for this program yeah, that's gonna be coming up. You should. Um, you should. You thanks, should come Courtney. Out. Thanks, Jess. Make sure you tune in to Straight to the Point on Daybreak. To the point. Uh, coming to up the next, point. <laughs> Brittany Lofter. She's here with your weekly weather report. And to the point, at the point, Brittany, take it away. <laughs> and Blaine King with sports. Don't go away. We'll be right back.